Yellowstone is one of the most popular national parks in the United States, coming in second just behind the Great Smoky Mountains. When you think of Yellowstone National Park, a few things might come to mind. Incredible scenery, the famous geyser that erupts several times a day, or the giant supervolcano that lurks beneath the park. One thing that might not come to mind though is mysterious humanoids. Yet people who have visited the national park have come forward with their sightings and encounters, saying that they are certain that what they saw was a creature that resembles a human, was covered in fur and that stood between 7 and 9 feet tall. This creature closely matches that of a Bigfoot, and many people across the United States have said this creature is definitely genuine, but notes that it tends to stay out of the way of humans. One of the problems with these types of reports is being able to back them up with evidence. Most people can't as the majority of these encounters are rushed, leaving the individuals questioning what it was they just encountered. One person though was able to capture proof of an alleged Bigfoot inside Yellowstone National Park. Mr. Wilson said the following about the image. I'm an avid watcher of the Yellowstone National Park live cams. I've been fortunate enough to be able to visit these incredible locations many times over my life, and it's always been one of those places where I feel happiest. It's one of the most scenic and beautiful national parks we have, but due to my age and a few other problems I'm not able to visit as much. In fact, I haven't been here in a while. Something I often do is watch the live cameras that are set up around the park, although I've never seen anything like this before. While watching the cam, I noticed this large looking human off into the distance. Now bear in mind this image has been zoomed in quite a lot, and there was no one else out there in that region. This thing is tall and it's the main reason I was able to spot it. In other parts of the national park, I could see people off into the distance, and they looked tiny. This thing really stood out because of how tall it looked against the trees. I know that there have been reports of Bigfoot in and around Yellowstone National Park, and although I've always stayed pretty neutral on the topic, I have a close friend that's told me stories of when he camped in Yellowstone National Park, and encounters something he couldn't explain. He is insistent that what he encountered while camping was that of a Bigfoot, and definitely wasn't something like a bison. I'm interested to hear what you think of this, so I've attached the photograph below. Again, I'm not claiming that this is a Bigfoot, but I can't see how it was a human. It stood out so much and like I said this creature is really tall against the nearby trees. I watched the live cams a lot, and this is the first time that I've seen a humanoid as large and as wide as this. I'd like to think that I know the difference between a standard human and whatever this is. End quote. This is one of the few times that a photograph of Bigfoot in Yellowstone has been captured within the National Park. As mentioned earlier, although there's various stories floating around about people's encounters with this creature, very few have been able to photograph what they saw. Bigfoot researchers have said that for years now people visiting the National Park have been seeing large hairy creatures, and state that most of these encounters happened during the nighttime with campers. When skeptics have seen these types of images though, they've said it's important to keep an open mind, and say that there's a lot of wildlife within Yellowstone National Park, and have said that people could just be misidentifying everyday creatures as Bigfoot. Although this is true, and that it's important to conduct as much research as possible when looking into these sightings, there's only a certain number of things that can be put forward in order to explain what's being seen. Eyewitnesses who claim that they've seen Bigfoot within Yellowstone say that you can't mix up this creature with that of local wildlife, going on to say that there's no humanoid creature within this region, and certainly not one that's able to reach these kinds of heights. The Sasquatch creature seems to stand somewhere between 8 and 10 feet tall. The creature is believed to have a total arm length of 120% the height of his body, similar to that of an ape-like creature with elongated forearms. Unlike an ape, however, the creature is believed to be bipedal. The bipedal nature of the creature most likely points to the theory of a working voice box, 
as the head would need to be in a position that allows for bipedal movement. Further evidence shows that the Sasquatch has a massive big toe to help with balancing issues, as it's nearly three times in volume in comparison to its size when adjusted for human scale. The Sasquatch is also seemingly covered in hair all over its body. For hundreds of years, mysterious reports have been made about large humanoids. Individuals have come forward with their encounters, and in some cases, they even managed to photograph what they saw. However, even though they're seen by thousands of people yearly, scientists have said there's no such creatures, and what people are seeing is mundane things like everyday wildlife. Sightings of this beast have persisted for eons, since the time of the Aborigines and their ancient mythological folklore. What is all the more startling about these claims is that even in the modern day, people are still encountering these creatures. All across the globe there's been reports of them, from Tibet, America and even Australia. Although this is the case, people are still torn about what these creatures are, and whether there is any substance to these sightings. So what do you make of this interesting image? Do you think it shows Bigfoot, a human or is it something like a tree or perhaps even a wild animal? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.